Hey, yo, uh, I don't know why. But I've been saying this for the last, like, three to five minutes. I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, sometimes, bro, I just be having moments where I just be saying random sh- Like, I know I'm not the only person that be doing that. I just be saying random sh- I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, I'll tell you, right? <laughs> What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Never Jamie. We back with another reaction. You know what I'm saying? On today's roster, we got his aunt shot him in both eyes and he shot back. So. Wait, man. The ops shot him in both of his eyes and he shot back? So my nigga is blind in both eyes. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all like, come and subscribe. We finna get straight to it, man. Make sure you show you my number, little bro. I'm chasing him like for sure. Boom. I you can tell mission. though, y'all. You shot. can tell that he blind in both eyes. You look at, look how he looking. Like hey, his eyes are not open, but that is crazy. Bro, going up. Bro, look at his eyes, bro. What's up, Drill Thread fam? That's crazy, Today, bro. Today we've got an insane story that has everyone in the streets talking. You won't believe this one, as it's pretty crazy. We're diving deep into the shocking case of Lil Kel, the rising star Lil who Kel. got shot in both eyes. That's right, both eyes. What That's went down crazy. that night? And most importantly, why? Stick around because this story will blow your mind. This ain't just another story. It's a mystery that we need to unravel together. Was it a setup, a rival beef, or something even more sinister? We're about to break it all down. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't lie. miss out on. If my ops would have shot me in both of my eyes, and I ain't, I'm not able to recover from that and be able to see again. Oh, I'm staying out the streets. Uh, I'm staying out the streets. I ain't going back in the streets, nigga. Shh. Nigga, I can't see. Oh no, man. That's crazy Enough though, dates. man. Let's get into it. Lil Kel. Born and raised in the gritty streets of Chicago, was no stranger to the. Oh, this Chicago! Oh, I already know it's finna get weird. Coming up from the notorious South Side, he used his raw talent and real life experiences to fuel his music, quickly gaining a following for his hard hitting lyrics and authentic style. His tracks were anthems of survival and resilience, resonating with many who lived similar lives. But with fame, Chicago, came the but shadows they begin, of violence. The streets over of them, man. are infamous for their relentless gang activity Telling and you, brutal boy. turf wars. Lil Kel, despite his rising success, couldn't escape the dangers that lurked around every corner. Rumors swirled about his affiliations and beefs with rival crews, making him a target in a city where envy and vengeance run deep. But how did he get shot in both eyes? How? Here's what Kel said happened. What happened? He like, uh, he like, you ride with me? He was getting in a car with his friend. Wait, wait, wait. He was getting in a friend's car. Okay. Talk to me. Hey, y'all come, man. Check, boom. I get in the car. Shit, so as I'm on the phone, as I'm, as I'm in the car, though, young Joe, young Joe FaceTime my phone. But in my I'm like, how the fuck this nigga get my number? You feel me? I had oh, just left from the 80. I post. He called me, like, come back. You feel me? And after Brad did what he did, I was finna hop on the road and, and go back. You feel me? Bro, Damn, so shit, we on bro. the phone and shit. We talking to she like hard and shit. Now look my, how he uh, looking, man. Stuff. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. How? Like, bro, he, I, I don't yeah. know. Man. So, all uh, right. So we pull up to where bro was going. You feel me? I'm not even knowing who the fuck, what the fuck. You feel me? I just he had me to ride. So here, yeah, yeah that's they, just like if my brother, like my brother at the time, and nigga was close. It's like bro asked me like, hey, I'ma come with you. You feel me? Not to interrupt you. Not to interrupt you. So who, who was who was the who was the person driving? Who who asked you to ride with him? The nigga, the nigga who was driving, he just gave the nigga a, a ride who I was with. You feel okay, me? Okay. I don't really even want to say the nigga name though. Okay. But, uh, okay. You feel me? But the nigga who was driving ain't even he wasn't. You feel me? He ain't had shit to do with shit either. Okay. You feel me? So we pull up to the spot. By the time we pull up, I get off the phone with Young Joe. You feel me? So all right, I'm in the um. He texting me. He like. Make sure you say my number, little bro. Ooh, ooh. I'm texting him like for sure. Boom. I send a message. Boom. I just shot start going up. Dang. Boom. I get hit. Boom. My, my vision get, get blurry. You feel me? Right. So I had, I had a AIP. Why this nigga I, laughing? And we pull out. So boom. Them niggas 
them niggas got hit. They got hit more times than me, the only guy hit. Like, I ain't even get hit by no, I got hit by a fragment, bro. This shit, he went right here, came right here, hit me. So, we on the freeway and shit, the nigga asked me, I'm straight. I'm like, yeah, I'm straight. I ain't, even, I ain't feel shit at all. I swear to God, on my, on my pops, well, I ain't feel shit. It was like, it wasn't shit. It was like my vision just was blurry as hell. I ain't feel nothing, you feel me? Right. So, bro, the nigga, the nigga who I rode with, though, he like screaming and shit. Feel me? But in my Why head, is bro like, laughing, bro? Why is bro laughing in a serious, in a serious matter? This is serious, my nigga. Why is he laughing? He said bro was screaming. This nigga, yo, this, yeah, this nigga crazy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, man. He crazy, man. But I'm on, a, I'm on the goddamn highway and shit. We, we goddamn police, police was behind us the whole time. Like, you feel me? Like chasing us, cause they, the car, like the back one shit was out and shit. So we get to the hospital. The nigga who drive, he hop out like, I'm finna go get the, you feel me, get the, get the uh, nurses, doctors and shit. But I wasn't finna wait on his head though. So I got out and walked in that bitch myself. You feel me? But at this time though, like, like my vision was so damn blurry to the point that like, where like, but I just know Erlanger though. Like, I hopped out that motherfucker and walked in that bitch. And then the nurse, like, she was already coming to me. So, you feel me? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. How did that experience affect you mentally though, bro? She... Like I, when it happened, right, I'm in the hospital and shit. I'm, I wasn't tripping. Like, like my mama right there, she'd tell you, bro. I was chilling. Like it wasn't nothing. Shit, I was alive. So shit, it wasn't shit. I was in that bitch, happy, turn, rapping all that. Nigga, I went live on Facebook. Nigga, my shit, a thousand views down there right. on that bitch, rapping everything. I was in that bitch, turn. But like, I said, like a month after that, like if a nigga been shot before, they'll tell you like the mood swings start kicking. I was mad as hell, flipping out like a motherfucker. Right. That's I interviewed a little ratchet. Uh, That's crazy, not too bro. long ago, I, I ain't never heard no shot. story he like this, bro. Thing. You know that, along with that, it brought mood swings. And then, like, you got to think, this ain't like some, the shit that went. These ain't even no niggas. You feel? I don't even know who the fuck. Like, you feel me? These ain't no niggas. I done did shit to beef with no none of that. It was just wrong play, wrong time. So, so, so he be yeah, like that, man. That shit, be like that, bro. That shit, Thanks for watching Drill Thread Fam. It be like that though, bro. Sometimes you just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, bro, I remember, I remember like I got into a situation like that. I was in the wrong place at the wrong damn time, bro. I'm telling y'all, boy. <sighs> Scratch the surface of Lil Kell's story, and there's so much more to uncover. The streets are lie. talking, and we're here to bring you I want to hear more story. about the story no though, bro. Remember, Lil Kel's journey is a powerful reminder this of the is harsh like, realities I many never face heard every day. Like that, bro. As we dig, y'all, I'm finna find another video, bro, because I want to hear more about this story because I ain't never heard a nigga say, a op, "The op shot at him and he he lost both of his eyes." I ain't never heard no story like that before.